Daniel, welcome to Bradford City, season long loan from Brentford. How does it feel to be here first and foremost? Yeah, thank you. Um, feels really good. I'm happy to be here and hopefully can make, a, make my mark on the season and have a positive season. It's not your first time here. You've played here before, not in a competitive fixture, but at the end of last season, Brentford B behind closed doors friendly. How does it feel now to be sat in the stadium as a Bradford City player and looking out onto the pitch in anticipation for next year? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited, I'm buzzing. I can't wait to get on the pitch and, and show everyone what I can do and, and hopefully achieve the goals that the team has. You met the manager, spoken to Mark Hughes. What was it that he was saying that was selling Bradford City to you and, and what have those initial conversations been like? You know, just building on last year. Last year, the team had a, had a great year. I know it didn't end how everyone wanted to, but it had a great year overall and played some good stuff. So just building on that and hopefully taking it to the next level. How positive is it to come into an environment like this where, like you said, the season didn't quite end how we wanted it to, but with a, a sort of opportunity to build on a successful position in the league where we finished and have that disappointment and have something to, to sort of build towards as part of a, a bit of a new look squad heading into the new year? Yeah, hopefully everyone still has that hunger to succeed and, and take it to the next level from last year. And obviously last year was a good season and just building on that and hopefully me being a big part of that is just what I want to do to help the team. Tell us about what you're like as a player. We know you're a right back. What can the Bradford City supporters come to yeah. expect? Quite fast, up and down, powerful, you know, good defensively. I think I've got a bit to my game and I just want to, hopefully I can show it out on there. And your career so far, 20 years old, like we say, at Brentford, what would you kind of make your career so far? Spent a bit of time last year as well at MK Dons up in League One. So what's kind of brought you to this point now? Just when I spoke to the gaffer, yeah, I don't think there was anywhere else I could go that was for me. And for where I'm at right now, I think it was perfect. And, and hopefully we can have a great year together. Spent a bit of time out in Argentina as well recently yeah. in the 20 World Cup representing England. How was that as an experience more generally? Yeah, it was good. It was, it was, it was really good at, as an experience. You know, we didn't quite do what we wanted to do out there, but as a whole, we experienced the team. Great group of lads, great group of staff. And hopefully I can bring the momentum that I built there, built there into the season. How much do you think that helps as well, as far as an experience is concerned, being out there in a foreign country with a different group of players, albeit you, you probably know most of them around your own age, but having those different strings in your bone, playing on the international scene, playing club football, playing senior football, playing new team football at Brentford, you seem to have a lot of experience in different scenarios under your belt already. Yeah, hopefully I can bring it here. And uh, for me, it's, it's just the experiences make you as a player and I just want to show it every time I play and, and hopefully give the little experience that I have to the players around me and also learn as much as I can at the same time. You spoke about being eager to get out of here, no doubt seeing the, the crowds that Bradford City can attract and 15,000 season ticket holders in for next season. I guess that adds to the experience as well, doesn't it? And that makes it better playing out on a pitch like this in a facility like this when you've got that many supporters behind you. Yeah, look, the supporters here are amazing. I haven't seen it at this level ever. It's, it's one of a kind, to be honest. And I'm just happy to be a part of it and hopefully I can, I can be a big part of it and, and sh play my heart out for the fans at the end of the day. How important is it as a player to shoulder that expectation and to be able to show that you can play in front of crowds like that and you can show these supporters what you can do, maybe good times and bad times throughout the season, but it's about how you can obviously react to different situations. I think that's quite an important part of being a footballer as well, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. You've got to be a, a goldfish as a footballer. You can't whether your last action was good or bad. Can't dwell in it for too long, it's about the next action. So it's the same here and hopefully can make many good memories together and not be a goldfish about the good memories. Yeah. Pre-season just around the corner, you'll be in training, be your new teammates soon, looking forward to that. Yeah, 100%, I'm excited, ready to go. I've been working hard, so I'm ready to show everyone what I can do. Got a final message for those Bradford City supporters, they'll be in here quite soon, cheering on your name. Yeah, no, hopefully we all have some good times here, isn't it?